and a half. I want to read just something from senior administration officials, according to Ed Henry. Officials acknowledge Europeans are skeptical of sanctions against Russia that may harm European economies. But these European allies are also concerned that without sanctions, the situation may ex escalate in Ukraine and cause more damage to Europe. No timetable yet on U.S. and or EU sanctions. Pressed on military action, would U.S. get NATO or someone else involved if Putin takes more territory? Officials say they still see no scenario, no scenario involving military action of any kind. Charles. Well, I think that's unwise to take everything off the table. What if there's a full-scale invasion all the way to Kiev? You're going to do nothing? Uh, I mean, the least that we should be doing now is ex having, offering the, the polls, exercises on the ground, sending the chairman of the Joint Chiefs into the Baltic states, which are scared to death. They have large Russian populations for joint exercises as a way to demonstrate that at least the countries inside of NATO are going to be protected militarily. And on the other fronts, I mean, uh, Kerry acts as if what, we ha what we've had here is a breach of international decorum. He says, you know, you take over a country, this is not 21st century major nation behavior. Like, you know, the, this is indecorous. It, in fact, there's something about the, the number of our century that obsesses him, and it's as if everything that happened before, meaning nations taking over other nations, expanding, seeking dominance, as Russia obviously is, is old history and it changed on the 1st of January in the year 2000. I don't understand what it is exactly about the world that has changed, but they imagine that there are norms that are self-reinforcing, that the Russians are not obeying, and somehow that is impossible in the world. But it's not. It's happened.